An important tool that we use when uh, assessing the performance of homes is infrared thermography. Uh, that's used in addition to blower door testers and, of course, duct blasting and so forth. Um, what infrared thermography does for it, it allows us to uh, make some assessments about the quality of the insulation and also the air leakage of the home. Uh, and how they work, uh, basically infrared cameras see heat images. So when we think about the solar spectrum, we have not only visible light, but we also have infrared and ultraviolet. Well, infrared is basically a, a term that we use to describe the heat that emanates off of objects. And what this device does, it has the ability to uh, take that infrared uh, images uh, and temperatures of various surfaces and then digitize that to an image that we can see. Now, uh, it, it, the darker colors that we'll see in this are the areas that are typically the coldest, and the lightest colors are the, typically the areas that are warmest. So used in conjunction with a blower door, we can find air leakage, we can find infiltration, and exfiltration, and we can also find defects in the insulation, all without having to do any destructive testing. It really helps us find out where the big energy holes are in the home. Yeah. So for this part of the assessment, we're just looking for the insulation performance defects. And we slowly scan around the room, and we quickly see that the area above the fireplace has poorly performing or completely missing insulation. It's too complete stud base. Yeah, and we can use the laser pointer to see that the insulation from there, clear to there, is missing. Um, we actually can locate the stud right there in the center, and there's the other stud, and the area in between them has no insulation and the same clear over to this stud. So we have the ability to see that this whole area needs improvement clear down to the mantle on the fireplace. This technology appears to be almost like an x-ray, but uh, actually infrared thermography can't see through things. It can only measure the temperature of objects, and since it's a colder day outside, the areas of greatest heat loss are the coldest, and this simply sees the temperature difference between warmer areas in colder areas, and how that shows up lets us know where the insulation is defective. So here's a lot Steve. of thermal bridging along the top of the framing yeah. there as well, huh? We see some interesting spots there uh, with poorly performing insulation right at that location, um, some there. All the way across here, we see sporadic areas that have poor performance. And we also have some thermography from some other areas of the home where you found some pretty significant defects. Yeah, especially in the master bedroom upstairs, we find lot, found large areas of missing insulation. So this is typically uh, a device that the average homeowner could not afford. This camera, for example, is around $13,000. These range in price from right around $3,000 uh, on up to well over $20,000, but it's certainly an important piece of equipment that every home performance contractor should have. It's uh, one of our most expensive tools, but also one of our most valuable. The images from infrared cameras can also be used to develop a report, so when the homeowner later sells the property, they can show that you know their home is superior perhaps to other homes on the block. Uh, but it is a great diagnostic tool that really helps us find those problems and also helps us fix them. It's a fantastic training tool also for our workers. Our workers can look at an assembly, make their best repair, and look at it again and see how well that repair works. So they'll be able to figure out what the most effective methods are. Yeah, and the beauty of it is not just as a diagnostic tool, but it also helps us know when we've done the work correctly so that we all end up with a more energy efficient home, which is really the goal.